So I was, uh, I wanted to go play basketball today because I haven't played basketball in a while. You know what I'm saying? And it was awesome. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that was some of the best basketball I've ever played. And not in terms of skill, but in terms of, in terms of experience. You know what I'm saying? Like, I went out there, you know, and it was a hot-ass day. I mean, it's almost summertime, so of course it's going to be hot. But I was playing by myself, and, you know, I was just shooting around, you know what I'm saying, trying to get my skills right because, you know, I'm, I'm kind of out of shape when it comes to basketball, you know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to get used to it. But, you know, after, like, 45 minutes, uh, some kids came up on me and asked me if, they, if I wanted to play teams, and I said, why not? That's what I said, so why not? So we played teams two on two. It was some older kid who, you know, he looked like he was in 11th grade or maybe 10th, I don't know. Uh, and it was two other little kids who, you know, played with us. And it was me and the second oldest versus, you know, the other two. Anyway, we played to 11 and we won, but it was just an awesome experience because I got to play with some awesome kids who, I don't know why, but they like my vibes, you know what I'm saying? And I love positive vibes, you know that. But, you know, after the first game, the the kid who was on my team, you know, you know, they asked me my name and stuff like that, but they were like, man, you good, man. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, you know, thanks. Then we played another game and we won. But we switched teams. It was me and the, the smallest kid, well, the youngest kid versus the other two, and we won. But after that, we all took a break. And the one that played on my team the first time sat down with me on the court and asked me, you know, what my name was and all of that. But then he told me something very awesome, something I didn't expect. He said that he wanted to be like me. You know what I'm saying? And not just be like me, but he wanted to be like me and play basketball like me. You know what I'm saying? And it touched me because... I don't get that a lot, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I've inspired a few people on my channel, but to go out and play some basketball and have a kid just say that he wants to be like me and I'm a good player and stuff like that, that was awesome, yo. You know what I'm saying? That made me feel very good to hear that, you know? And like, he said he wanted to be good like me and I said, well, you gotta practice, you know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm doing, that's what I told him. And then, you know, after a couple of minutes of, you know, just chilling, I said, hopefully you're, you're better than me one day. You know what I'm saying? What is that? I told him, hopefully you, you're better than me one day. And, you know, he took that in whatever way he did. And, you know, we started talking about basketball and stuff. But, you know, it was just good vibes, man. Like, I, it's been a while since, I was, since I've been around good people. You know what I'm saying? Like, not, not you know, I'm, I'm, I try and be around good people a lot, but it was a while, it's been a while since I've actually been around somebody who I can actually smile around, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was just good vibes, man. It made me really feel good, you know? And then like, sometime after that, this guy, this tall dude named Justin, he's a firefighter in, around here, you know what I'm saying? But tall dude, like 6'8 is what he said, but you know, he came over there, good spirit, you know what I'm saying? Good vibes, and he played basketball with us, well, I took a break for about 15 minutes and then we got up, played, uh, and we won. You know what I'm saying? It, not me and Justin. I mean, that would have been overkill, but no, it was me and the the uh, second youngest versus Justin and the smallest kid. You know what I'm saying? But it wasn't really a, a, a game of competition and just seeing who could win. It was more of a game of fun. You know what I'm saying? Just shooting around, letting the little kids shoot you know what i'm saying letting the little kids play yeah me and justin played our part and we you know we got our buckets but more importantly it was just about fun you know and just being around good people and laughing and smiling and sharing stories and you know exchanging names and stuff and it really touched me to know that there are people there are good people like that in this world you know what i'm saying because this world is fucked up you know what i'm saying it's screwed up and there are a lot of bad people and people who have bad intentions and bad vibes all around them and I'm not about that I'm not about bad energy so it just made me feel good to know that unexpectedly good people came around me and we actually had a good time playing basketball you know what I'm saying like I I didn't expect that I did not expect to go play basketball and boom some kids just come around me and you know play basketball with me long story short it just it really made me feel good you know what I'm saying
and that's and that's what I want in this life. You know what I'm saying? Like as far as YouTube, I don't want to just make it and be successful and be able to, you know, have money and you know be a, a, a well-known YouTuber and shit like that. But I want to have fun with you guys. You know what I'm saying? And you know, go out in public and just share great experiences with not just fans, but you know, people I don't even know. Like go to the store and see a. a, a Custom, not a customer, but a you know person working the register and just exchange a conversation. Hey, how you doing? How's your day going? You know what I'm saying? Thanks. And, you know stuff like that, man. Those are the things that make me happy. You know what I'm saying? Going to subway and talking to a, a, a guy I don't even know, and just having a wonderful conversation about exercising and stuff like that. Cause that actually happened. You know what I'm saying? Not today. Happened some time ago, but it was so awesome, man. Like I want to be able to have those exchanges and experiences in life which is why I do what I do as well. I mean, it's not the only reason, but that's one of those reasons why I go so hard in what I'm doing. You know, a lot of people don't believe in what I'm doing, but it's all good because I know that I'm having a good time doing it, you know? And no matter what happens, whether I succeed or whether I fail, I'll know that I had these experiences. So I don't regret anything. So with that being said, I just wanted to share that little experience with you guys. I mean, I'm very dirty right now because, shit, I just got back, like, not too long ago, like 15 minutes ago. But I just want to say thanks for everything, you guys. I love you, no doubt. And thanks for the good vibes and the great laughs that we all share with each other, you know what I'm saying? And I want us to be a bit more engaging, you know what I'm saying, a bit more interactive, you know? So I don't know. Just get at me, you know what I'm saying? And I'll catch you guys later. I'm out.